please click here to like this video your comments are welcome subscribe to get new videos now um, at this point we've been able to to get all the to get all the elements that we want at this point so let's take a critical look at it again you see uh, rafters have been formed our pellings have also been placed on it let's go back quickly and see back on the section again and you see we have two more elements here we have roof members here so uh, we have these two roofing materials this will be for the main one and we are going to use this for the uh, rich cap but because we have some few works to do in terms of extending this to the edges okay before our fissure comes what we'll do is that we can um we can we can finish with that extension first before we copy one to to do our um our risk cap okay so let's select this and then we say edit footprint okay so let's take us to that should take us to the roof level okay now you see we uh because of the slope okay and we got all these things there it has really shortened the um, um the the roof to the edge so we can do this offset okay we can do an offset round about uh let's say 150 it looks too far let's make it about uh, 100 okay let's hope it works so uh, let's do 120 and see Okay, so let me delete this. Okay, so we offset this 120 all around. We press the tab key. It's able to select all at once for you. You click it and it's done. Okay, so at this point, I'm having to. Okay, so now I can select this tab, then select all the internal ones and delete them. So they're gone. Okay, so at this point, we have to create, uh, I mean, make sure we have formed a closed loop at all the edges. Mm, it's done. Okay, then we say finish sketch. It's done. So um, I come in here. Great. So, so this is my roofing material. So I can use the arrow key to nudge it down, nudge down, 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 down. Okay, so I was pressing the arrow key, and then now you see that it is properly done now. This is good. So I have to offset all around by 120 just to make sure I get these things that I, I wanted to get. So now I can copy, I can pick this and say copy, and then copy this and go and put it on top of it. Okay, so now my rich cap, I can now uh, get my rich cap done. I'll come and deal with the risk cap very soon. But first, let's see what we can do in terms of placement of our um, our fascia. So, um, yeah. Okay, so now, after having copied this now, what we can do now is that we can first start by working out our risk cap. How do we get it done? I select this this way um, come to opening okay architecture you come to opening and we have vertical okay not wall vertical so you click on that element and then it's done so we come to roof level select it it takes you to the roof level now this is our um, our roof we are now coming to draw um, the risk caps, okay? So the principle is this, it's very simple. If you have a space like this and you are creating an, I mean, an opening, a vertical opening it, all you need to do is to just create a space that you can take off. Let's say I'm doing this, I want to have about say 250 all around. Okay, so you come in here,
okay 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 so now all that you're doing the thing is that we are creating this opening in the roof so that's all we're doing um let, let's make this offset zero so that we can have it okay so what this means is that we are going to cut this part out of the main roof okay we're also going to measure here and end it here pick here measure it down here we pick this part from the main roof okay measure it from here get it up from here cut this side off from it okay so we are just closing up the various parts of the roof okay and then from here we can just pick this side here like this and close this side up so now let's take it one after the other and then uh probably we can use our, our corner trim to just trim it off okay here to same so every corner we must form a closed loop but with this we are just defining the loops for uh it's to be taken off from the main one okay so you take this we move it you do same at this point okay so we move to the side quickly we get it done so let's come to this corner here and um so what this means is that this part that has been enclosed will be cut off from the main roof this part that has been cut will be cut off from the main roof this part also that has been cut will also be cut off from the main roof from this side and then this side too they will all be moved from the main roof and then um, when you finish all you need to do is just say finish sketch and then that's all so let's go to the 3d and you see this is your rich cup don't get so worried of hitting the main roof that's why you're not seeing that so you see so that is it so this is how the rich caps are drawn okay so we have our rich caps nicely done okay you will not get this um uh, like we don't have any tool like rich cap where you come and select the heaps or the ends where you're supposed to have a rich for it to be so you don't have that in Revit and so you, you have to use the tools that we have in here and improvise your way out so that is it for the rich cap so um yeah that's it so we'll come back again in our next video and look at how to work out on our uh, fascia board and then our soffit thank you please click here to like this video your comments are welcome subscribe to get new videos